Hello, this is Professor Jim Caffey, and this is Chapter 12 out of the OpenStax Astronomy book, and we are doing Rings, Moons, and Pluto. Here we see the Jupiter family. It includes the four Galilean moons. We have Io, Europa, Callisto, and Ganymede. Here we see some of the moons in the solar system. Earth just has the one. Jupiter has four big ones, but actually has many dozens more, as does Saturn. Uranus has some. Neptune has a few others. Pluto has uh, at least five. And even the dwarf planet Aries has one. Callisto is cratered and icy. Looks like chopping into a block of ice. Ganymede is rocky, icy, somewhat cratered, has grooves in the surface. Europa is really interesting. It has a salt water ocean underneath its crust and its crust looks like ice glaciers floating in the ice and over here we see grooves and channels in the ice cracks and water comes up through these cracks and refreezes on the surface really neat here's a close-up of Europa and we can see those cracks and grooves nicely. And that water comes up and fills in those cracks and refreezes. Io, on the other hand, is a volcanic moon. We see these dots and they are sulfur volcanoes on Io. Here's what's going on on Io. <coughs> Io is so close to Jupiter, that its crust expands and contracts every orbit, about six or eight miles. And that compression creates heat inside. That heat drives that volcanic activity of sulfur inside Europa. Here are some close-ups of those volcanoes, and we can see the sulfur eruptions right here and here. <coughs> here we see the volcanic changes on Io over the course of a few years. And here we see lava fountains on Io. So we have at least three icy moons. They are, again, Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto, all around Jupiter. Titan, Titan excuse me, has a thick haze of smog in its atmosphere high up. Down low it has some methane or ethane. We have sent a probe to the surface of Titan around Saturn, and this is what we saw. We saw ice boulders, but these ice boulders are made of methane. And it landed on a muddy methane beach near a lake. I'll show you that. Titan's lakes here are methane, and that probe landed right on the beach of one of the lake. Neptune has the moon called Triton, not to be confused with Saturn's moon, Titan. But this moon, Triton, also has geysers on it of nitrogen. And those black streaks we see are the nitrogen geysers. More geysers on Triton. Close-up view. 
also proves that there is wind on Triton. Pluto was discovered in 1930, and it was discovered looking at two parts of the sky, blinking photographs between the two to look for one object moving back and forth in its orbit. If we put Pluto and its large moon Charon next to the Earth, they would barely cover up the western United States and parts of Mexico. Here is Clyde Tamba, a farm boy from Kansas, with his telescope. We have sent the New Horizons spacecraft in 2015 to Pluto. And this is what we saw. We saw some haze layers in the atmosphere. The most beautiful picture of Pluto shows its heart-like feature called Tombaugh Regio. The diversity of terrain on Pluto shows a smooth surface followed by mountains. We see in this photograph the terrain looks different across Pluto. Pluto is one of the geologically most active places that we have in the solar system. It has a large moon called Charon and it has distinct colors to it, mountains and craters. Saturn's rings from above and below. Really beautiful. We think that the rings of Saturn might look like this. Clumps of ice and rock together in a small orbit going around Saturn and that ring system. So it's not solid is the point. Enceladus is another icy moon around Saturn. And Enceladus has geysers, water geysers on it. I have a colleague that studies Enceladus. The rings of Uranus show up. They are not as bright as Saturn. We have rings around Neptune, very thin. Saturn's rings have moons around some of them, and we call these shepherd moons. And over here, you can see a moon creating gravity waves in those rings. Really neat. Well, that's going to do it, guys, for Chapter 12 on rings, moons, and Pluto. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you next time. Well, did you enjoy that episode of 10-Minute Astronomy? If so, check out all the other videos in that playlist for 10-Minute Astronomy and other videos on my channel, and then hit the subscribe button right there. Thanks.